Hi dear friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel Milestones of Our Life. I'm Philo, an OET trainer living in UK. We have already uploaded many videos about OET, IELTS, NMC process and so on. If you couldn't find them, just search Milestones of Our Life YouTube channel and click on to videos so that you can get the access to the series of OET videos. As many of you told me to share an OET study plan, I just developed a plan with some useful tips. So, today I'm here with that effective 30 days OET study plan along with some powerful preparation tips. If you are watching our videos for first time, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Milestones of Our Life. And enable the bell icon to receive notification as soon as we upload new videos. So friends, are you ready? Can we start? I have seen many candidates who already passed many competitive exams like HARD and CLEX RN but they are finding it difficult to achieve the desired score in OET or IELTS. So, what is the difference here? Both OET and IELTS are language test. And these tests are focusing onto your language skills rather than your knowledge. So your grammar, vocabulary and pronunciation have a great influence in deciding your score. While saying that, I'm not underestimating the fact of your luck. So I always suggest you to keep a small prayer in your mind. But it is completely up to you. Okay, coming back to the point, let's focus on to OET preparation. As we all know OET is life changing. Achieving successful OET grades has the potential to take you and your family to a new country, changing the way you live and work. Even if you want to get there as soon as possible, always be realistic about how long this will take. And don't rush to take the exam. Before you book for OET, you should do certain things. First of all, assess your current level of English and build up your practice based on that. As you know, even with sound language background, you may need to take time to prepare properly. Now, you may be thinking how can I assess my current English? And how can I be realistic? Am I right? For that you can visit OET official website. And take one of the sample tests available on their website and mark your answers for listening and reading using the answer key. If you have access to an English teacher or a friend with native standard English, get feedback on your writing and speaking. Or even get help from somebody who passed OET. At this time you should perform a self-assessment. Identify your strengths and weakness. Take time to do this assessment as it is very very important and think about the ways to overcome those weakness. During this initial stage itself you should develop a thorough understanding about the test, its modules or subtypes, the assessment criteria. I have already uploaded many videos about the OET subtests including tips to improve your score in each subtests. So please watch those videos to get more understanding. During this same time, you should start searching for the study materials. Try to get maximum materials as you can. Search online, ask your friends and all other sources you can think of. As you know there are many OET groups online. So join OET Facebook groups or WhatsApp groups. And try to get maximum tips from those groups. Write them down and assemble and modify effective tips. Last, but not least, buy three notebooks to practice the materials. Keep one book for reading and listening, one for writing and one for speaking. Friends, 
Now you assess your language skills, identified your strengths and weakness and also you developed a detailed understanding of the subtests including the assessment criteria. At this stage you can make a study plan and stick to that plan at any cost. I will show you the sample template which I made for you. This is just a template and adjust it as per your identified strength and weakness. If you are weak in speaking, spend more time to practice speaking every day. Or if you are weak in listening, spend more time on that. So as per your strength and weakness you need to develop the plan. But every day you should practice all the four subtests. Thus, develop a specific study plan for 30 days, plan time for all subtests every day with due emphasis onto the weaker areas. Always be realistic about the amount of time you have to study and practice your English language skills. Clearly write down the plan time duration for each subdist and never make any compromise with your practice. While you do the practice, start with simple materials then proceed to difficult materials. Always use time wisely. Remember, not the quantity but quality matters. There is no point in sitting and studying the whole day at a stretch. Instead properly plan your time. Complete your target every day before you sleep. All throughout your preparation time, surround yourself with exam related thing. Sometimes it may be hard for you to spend more time for preparation. But always remember the proverb where there's a will there's a way. While you practice, strictly adhere to the time limit as in real exam. Use the timer. Once you finish the test, correct the answers, take time to analyze both question and answer. And find out the reason for that mistake. Write it down. After completing every material, you should evaluate yourself and find out the mistakes you made. Take special attention to avoid that mistake again. This approach will help you to develop your own strategies to score a B grade in OET. Always schedule time to take the practice test towards the last week of your preparation. Mark your practice test and review any part of the test where you struggled along with your schedule. As you know, for the real exam, you need to do reading, listening and writing at a stretch. It will be difficult, if you're not prepared for that. So take the practice test as if it were the real thing, find a quiet place where you will not be interrupted, and take it in one session. Time yourself accurately. This will help to prepare you for the actual test. If possible practice two sets of all subtests during the last week. Since you are approaching the last days of your preparation, put your maximum input, keep yourself focused. Stay away from anything that deviates your mind. I will tell you some general tips for the final week. In the week before your test, you should recheck your registration for accuracy. Contact the OET help desk if there are any problems. If possible, visit the test venue. It can be helpful to know how long it takes you to get there, and to see the test venue where you will actually take your test. As I told right now, during the last week, practice the test material as if it were test day. Look at your results from the practice test and identify your strengths and weaknesses.
use the last week before test day to focus on your weaker areas. Now, what to do on the day before test day? Try to avoid doing intensive studying the day before the test. Instead of trying to learn new information, you can review key strategies, prepare everything you will need for test day, and try to find some free time to relax. Sleep well so that you will feel fresh for the exam. Oh, at last your test day approached. Plan to arrive early at your test venue. The administrators will not admit latecomers. Don't forget your ID. Some centers may let you to take water and candy into the exam hall. If possible, take it with you. Or else keep it outside in the locker. And in case, if you need it, you can at least ask the invigilators for that. During the test, pay your full attention on the task and try to provide correct answers, read and listen actively, and speak and write clearly. Dears, OET requires a high level of concentration and quick responses. So your state of mind have a very important role in determining your score. During the exam, you may struggle to understand what a speaker is saying in the listening test, may stuck with finding meaning of a difficult paragraph in the reading test, or may forget the correct word or phrase to use in the speaking and writing tests. But it is all natural. As you all know, you do not need to get every single question right to achieve a high score. Remind yourself that it is okay to make some mistakes on OET. You do not have to get everything right to achieve your desired score, so do not spend too much time on a question that is too difficult for you, or trying to remember a phrase to use. Make an educated guess, or explain what you mean as best you can, and then move on. Friends, never bring any negative thoughts in your mind. Be always confident and positive about your abilities. Definitely you will see the difference. Always remember that you do not have to get every single question right to achieve a high score. Oh, your hard work is over. You did your level best to get a good score. Get together with your family and friends. Relax and have fun with them. Hi friends, hope you all enjoyed the video. If you like the video, please share it to your loved ones. Friends, thanks a lot for all your support and encouragement. Once again, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Milestones of Our Life. And enable the bell icon to receive notification as soon as we upload new video. Bye for now, and see you in the next video.